it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video. Um, so, I'm doing another video on my map. Uh, I'll also be doing tomorrow's video. Where'd my notebook go? One second. Did I do Saturday? No, I did not. Okay. So, <clears throat> today's video and tomorrow's video are going to be on this because... I have been doing nothing but working on this. I have not done anything with like farm sim or anything like that. So, um, yeah. So, just because I've been I've been trying to get this thing finished, like get as much of this done in a short amount of time as I possibly can, because I want to get this done because I really want to play it. So. Yeah, so I'll just show you what I've done since the last video. As I said, I finished the gravel roads. Um, I got all that done. And then um, I got five fields added. <clears throat> As you can see, there's three down there, two up there. Um, I did also, I guess I can just go over here and show it. Um, so I guess, you know... As you can see, I changed the grass texture. This is the grass texture from County Line uh, and the grass texture underneath. Uh, the texture paint, that is also um, from County Line. And then I added new soil textures. Uh, I believe these came off of like FS UK or something like that. I had, I had downloaded them for my other map, and so I just went to my downloads folder and found it. Um, I did a custom gra uh, dirt texture, excuse me, I almost said gravel, uh, dirt texture, I just went to Google and typed in, um, what did I type in, dirt texture, dirt road texture, that's what it was, and I just kind of did some scrolling through the images, and um, found, I narrowed it down to two that I liked, and this one was the best, um, and then... Uh, if you look here, we got some, kind of like some trash, we got some leaves, we got some dirt, and covered in grass. That's kind of how it is, um, if I bring this up, that, visibility on, uh-oh, I need to go to material editing, I think. Shoot. Did I not change that here? Well then. Aha. So this is what I need here. Edit with Notepad++. Plus plus. So if I just go, huh, okay, well I'll have to fix that later on then. My bad, I guess. I guess I didn't even think of that. Alright, so then I will go off of something else. Um, maybe the Google Earth image here or wait well this I guess will work oops I'm off in my spelling okay so let's get zoomed in here um, I am over here so if you look, um, you know, like we got a couple of spots in the field there, as you can see. And then, if you look here, there's like a little pond, spot of water with some trees on the sides. I got a spot of water with some trees on the side. And yeah, so then, um, got another spot here. This is just completely leave, leaves. And then grass. 
You can see we got a little kind of like a coolie almost in here. Um, here we've got three-way entrance. And then, uh, as you can see, I've started on the barbed wire fence around these fields. And I'm getting getting that done bit by bit. Um, it's gone by relatively fast because of the flatness. But it is still taking a little time. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. Um... Yeah, so what I did is I had tried fixing the single sign, single pole thing to be a DDS image so that it wouldn't, let's check here, so that it wouldn't uh, give me that error anymore. And it, I guess, messed with the rest of it. Okay, so it works there. Did I change this to DDS? No, I did not. Oops. So now let's try it. Still works, so I don't know what its deal is. I'll just have to re-import it, but I'll do that later. But, um, yeah, I had tried just fixing it so that way I wouldn't get that error for that anymore. So that way I could just see if there was other errors, which there are none. Um, which I really didn't think there would be because I only have a few objects in. And this time, I'm making sure that as soon as I bring an object in, or like go and export it, or anything like that, as soon as I do anything with the object that I'm going to be working with, before it even enters the folder for the map, uh, I'm making sure that everything is DDS and all that stuff and all good to go. So, uh, because on my other map, I have every single texture file in there, nearly anyways uh, has to be saved as a DDS and everything changed to DDS in the uh, inside of the i3d so a lot of work there um, it's just a lot easier to do it right away that's for sure it may be you know like you may it may be like a little bit longer till you get your object imported, but it's definitely a lot, uh, a lot faster, a lot easier, I guess, more so than fast, but it's a lot easier. It's not such a headache when you finish. So I have three sets of barbed wire fence in here. Uh, we have the end post, or the end, which you see here end section we have the corner and then we have just the regular post um, so here I'm planning to put gates on all of the entrances where there's fences anyways um, but I'm gonna do all of the fencing first and then I will um, then I'll go back and add the gates, especially because I haven't added the animation map trigger script uh, to the map yet. I haven't gotten that far, which at the moment it's not necessary uh, because I obviously don't have any objects on here yet that would require it. So uh, that'll probably be added once I finish all these fields and everything else. I was happy, hoping that maybe I would have all of these fields done by, like, Sunday, uh, the end of Sunday, you know, like, end of the week, basically, but at this rate, it's looking like that won't happen, um, mainly just because it, it takes so long to do this fence stuff, I mean, when it's flat, 
it's not that bad you know like here it's not bad but once you start getting into the hills then you have a lot more changes like we will be ch doing a lot more changes as we get over to here so so then what I'm planning to do is obviously when I get to here there will be an end here there will be an end and then there will be an end running this way along here um, there will be a barbed bar wire fence running along here as well and then yeah so then like when the barbed wire fence will end here going down this way and then it'll go down that way and then um, one will start here and go around that field and then when it gets over to here um, I'll have a corner post or something uh, or actually no it'll just continue on that way and then it'll branch off here go all the way over to here where there will be an end an end there goes over so on and so forth so it's definitely gonna take a while to do all this fence it already you know has it's not taking as long as I thought it would because like I said it is on flat ground um, it's taking maybe like an hour hour and a half fish I'll say to get where I'm at you know get to where I'm at so far so I do have a bit of a cold, that's why I'm all sniffly now, um, and if my voice sounds funny, that's also why. So yeah, um, this video will be doing the fences, and then in the next video, um, I'll work on fields, getting those put in. So, you know, try and get as much of this fence done in this video as possible, and then the rest, whoa, what happened there? I got way off of my judgment there. Um... I'll get as much done in this video as I can of the fence and then the rest I'll do off camera and then um, tomorrow's video will be fields uh, it's actually Thursday right now so you know I'm recording this one a day and ahead and I'm hope in advance I mean a day ahead a day in advance whatever uh, I'm hoping to have Sun, uh, Saturday done um, by the end of Friday, which shouldn't be too hard to get to. Um, I hope to have this fence done today, by all means, because I don't want to be working on this for ages. Um, and I can't tell. Does this need to go down? Yes, it does. Grass hides it so well, which I guess really, you know, technically speaking, um, if I didn't have it completely in the ground, it probably wouldn't be all that bad. But, I mean, like, you wouldn't see it unless you're, like, super up close to it looking at it looking to find you know find out th whether or not it's in the air or in the ground or what Yeah, we'll just 
goes 0.3. See, I did um, normally the there's not this transform group with the wires. Normally the wires are all into the normal transform group. Plus I changed the name of all these when I exported it. I exported all these off of MAFM V2. And then what I did is I made a transform group, uh, selected all three wires, cut, paste into the transform group, and then cut and paste the transform group into this transform group. And then it makes it, it just makes it so much easier to adjust the wires because, you know, they, one, they'll only adjust on the one side, so you don't have to sit and, you know, adjust it up and down, but also because you don't have to do each one individually. Like, you know, back there where I had to adjust it up, I'd have had to adjust every pole. First, you'd have to do it, you'd adjust your rotation. Then, you would adjust the each wire up and down because it wouldn't line up. And, yeah, it's a headache doing it the other way. So, I just did it this way and much simpler, a lot easier to control. So, if you look here, we can see all of the fence so far. Um, I have a transform group for all of these transform groups. If you close that, you know, obviously this will be gone. So, you know, subtract that one. It's so, so much clearer. You know, like, it's a lot less clutter doing it this way. I, I've seen a lot of maps where, like, I've downloaded them. And, you know, like, usually whenever I download something, map or mod, I'll open it in Giants Editor. Just kind of look it over, see, you know, if it looks as good as it did in the pictures. And, you know... Is there stuff that the pictures didn't show? Like maybe, you know, maybe it's got white pieces or, you know, something has odd chrome or whatever. Or maybe a map is missing pieces or, you know, whatever it is. And, um... Um... You know, a lot of times, like, they would have all of their posts, you know, for example, like, this would just be the main scenograph here. And it's, I find it annoying, because if you're trying to look for something, it's very difficult. You know, and then, like, if I got tired of all these fences at one point, all I'd have to do, select field fences, hit delete, bam, it's gone. Every single field fence. Instead of having to, you know, find them all and go click individually or whatever, and then hit delete. But I'm not, you know, if, if I were going to be tired of these fences, I wouldn't even put them here in the first place because these take forever. But they're worth it in the end. Add a lot of realism, add a lot of detail. And detail is something that I'm going to go full out on this map with. Uh, you know, like, something I plan to do, like, with this spot here is take, like, an old, like, maybe an old farm all and an old cultivator or something. And, you know, maybe stick it, like, here on the edge. You know, smooth this out a little bit in one spot and put those on the edge. And, you know, make, like, the wheel be in the water. Or, you know, and the cultivator coming down the bank. You know, and old, like, neglected, left to rust, you know, abandoned tractor, and, you know, I plan to add stuff like that all over the map in random places, you know, old abandoned farmsteads, and, you know, just so much detail, you know, not necessarily, like, super high quality trees or something like that that'll, you know, kill the frame rate, but just, you know, details like that. Perfect. So now we're getting closer to where we'll be going up the hill.
Now we're getting into the uphill. Oh, not quite, I guess. We're getting close to it, though. Now I gotta start checking each and every post to make sure that it's sitting the way that it should be. Just barely in the ground. I did just do a test not long before I started recording this. Uh, I did a in-game test, just checking, you know, make sure all my grass textures went went over correctly and everything's looking good, looking the way I want it. And it all was so all set, good to go. So then we'll have to bring over a end piece pretty soon. We'll go with one five. I want to make sure I'm still recording. Because as many of you know, I sometimes have issues with OBS where it says, ah, I want to stop. And it's like really I mean, I guess another thing that would make this go faster if I was one of those people that just took it and, you know, like, moved it, moved it up and down, and then just went like this and adjusted it. I've seen people do it that way. But that's not how you put in fence. You have your posts are as level as you can possibly get them, and then your wire goes with that. It, you know, it'll go on its own you know, adjusting with that is, you know, each post would have like a clip or, you know, however you put it, um, you know, however you attach it to your posts and then you would snap the barbed wire in. Like we've got some um, barbed wire where the post has like a le little yellow clip on it. You know, and obviously, in real life, your barbed wire doesn't run straight through the post either. Um, I have tried setting it up so that it went on the edge of the post, but it just, it doesn't work right. Um, but anyway, you know, like we have little yellow clips we pound in. Um, well, we also don't have... We don't have wooden posts so much. Um, ours are mostly the metal posts. But put a clip on there, and then you kind of you got to kind of twist the wire, and it you know you'll get it in there, and then you're all set. And um, okay, so we'll do one more here. And I might have to duplicate it again and put just the post on the end. Negative 0 0.2, 2, 5, no, 3. Okay, so we're going to copy all that stuff. And then we're going to go end, control D, control shift V, and then we want to go negative 90. Okay, so now we'll go here, control D, I'll delete those, so that's just the post. And we'll put the post right about there. We'll go like that, okay. This, and then we'll select these guys. 
and we'll go down to 0 0.015. We'll just kind of play around with this here, find what works for each of these, and then go from there. So this has to go even more. So let's try zero. Uh, let's do. Let's just do one. Zero point zero one. Then we can build up from there. Okay, so now we need to enlarge it. So let's go two, maybe. Nah, let's go th three. Let's close that so that way I don't get the notifications from it. Okay, so we need to go just a little bit more. So let's try four. Or let's see if it'll do three five. That will be perfect. Who? Oh, maybe not. Oh, three five. I was like, maybe not. Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> okay, so now we'll bring this up to... To about there. Then we'll go to end section. And... Oh, I don't need to do any of that. Um... Two, maybe? Two point two, two point one. Perfect. Cool. That looks pretty good. So, and there we have it. Okay, so now we'll just copy all that. We'll go back to the original one, duplicate that again. Go like that, and then we need to be going that direction. We'll get this into the ground. And I know what we'll do. We can just duplicate this post. Negative zero point negative one negative three nope negative two um, that looks pretty good so we'll go like that perfect okay so then is this rotated any okay so we need to go control D and we need to set this to zero. We'll just go with this whole thing here. And then we'll go. Wait. Oh, wait. I don't need that extra post. Huh? Okay. I don't know what that. I just got a notification for a comment on Instagram, but I have no idea what the person's talking about. Okay, so then we can delete this post. For some reason, I thought my barbed wire went the other direction. That the barbs are on this side for whatever reason. Don't ask. <laughs> I'm losing it, I think. Okay, so 2.02. .02, uh, okay, 2.1. 2.12.
Okay, so like I said, I'm going to finish up this barbed wire. Um, I got a good chunk of it done, but there's still a lot to do. So, yeah, um, I'm going to do this and then get this done, get that uh, single sign, single pole issue fixed. And then I'll be back tomorrow with another video. So, thanks for watching, you guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to check out down below. Oh, be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias, my mod site, and other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.